ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dr. Mona Lisa Ferrari, and I'm here at the Bridge Multicultural and Advocacy Project celebrating the third annual Unity Seder. And on behalf of Mark Appel, we want to welcome you to this wonderful celebration. And let's step inside to see what's going on. It's wonderful to be here in this house of unity, the bridge. I'm so proud to welcome you here tonight as we celebrate the pursuit of freedom. The first Passover Seder we did, we actually did it in Brooklyn, in Borough Park, was attended by 150 sexual abuse survivors. It was covered on the front page of the New York Times, and that led to the changing of the laws in the state of New York and those laws, the Child Victims Act, which is now in place, is due as a result of the same. So when we come together as a group, as a community, together as one, different colors, different races, we see this here. We're waiting for you. But I made a commitment at that day that we're going to change the mission of the bridge. We were just in the beginning stages of the bridge. Our mission here at the bridge is not to go onto the bridge but to cross the bridge. Yes, we have paid our tolls. We may not pay New York tolls, which are pretty extensive, but we paid our tolls heavily. In Pittsburgh, and other, uh, in Parkland, in Charleston, we have paid bitterly, bitterly, and we must cross the bridge. So I hope that I can be like Look up to John Lewis in a year or two and tell him, you marched on the bridge, but we crossed the bridge. <laughs> you can't do this in one day, but we do this every day. We do this 365 days a year. Tonight is the 100th event at the bridge. 100th, I looked it up on the computer. 100th event. Whether we're in blood drives, whether we're in rescue operations to Haiti, whether we're in Puerto Rico, whether we're in book drives, whether we're in lectures, whether whatever they were, tonight is the 100th event. Uh, I welcome you all to a night full of amazing people from all walks of life coming together to celebrate the Passover Seder with our Jewish brothers and sisters. To see people of different faiths and ethnicities breaking bread together with joy, happiness and smiles. It gives me hope that our children will grow up in a society that doesn't endure each other, but always celebrate each other. Tonight we will, we will all celebrate each other, share our lives, our stories, and we will renew our intentions to always be there for each other. I appreciated this man, and I'm not going to read from the script now. Um, this man has been there for me, not for the photo ops, not for the newspaper cut cuttings. He's been there when I really needed him. And the more, the more I, I talk about it, it feels like that's what I'm talking about him. This man is a true, true friend to every little culture, ethnicity, and I am the witness for that. And for that, I thank you. I thank you. The bridge under the able leadership of Mark Appel serves as an island in New York City which promotes tolerance and openness to the ideas of others. It enables us to speak with one another, to learn from each other, and collectively share a vision and fellowship. So I'm going to give you some freedom in that spirit and wish you all a happy Palm Sunday. Uh, Passover.
Happy Ramadan, all of the respective holidays. We wish you great blessing. I want to thank those who may not personally celebrate these holidays, but are here to join with us in friendship. May the Almighty assist us in finding the courage to liberate ourselves out of the darkness of our narrow places to wider places of blessing. Amen. Attorney and the police department. I want to say thank you to the to, to sergeant and to the detective that was on it today. That work cannot be done without all of you. Um, so, as the district attorney, I give you my word, my solemn word, that I will do everything in my power to keep the community safe, but that we also need to do it together. And the bridge. The work that uh, Mark Appel and all of you and all the organizations in this room working together is how we get there. Let me wish everyone a very happy Passover, a good and happy Easter, and a happy Ramadan. God bless all of you. Let me uh, firstly say that for many years, I was chaplain of the Federal Prison of New York. Eric Gonzalez is the district attorney here in Kings County. Isn't it nice to look out and see so many familiar faces uh, from all of those years? Thank you so much. Let me... Years ago, when there was that slaughter at Emanuel Baptist Church in Charleston, South Carolina, people who are not Christian stood in solidarity with those of the church. When Pittsburgh, at Tree of Life, had that slaughter, there were people who were not Jewish who came forward and stood there and synagogues around the country. And when Christ Church in New Zealand had the slaughter, there were people who were not Muslims who came together in solidarity. And obviously we recognize that there can be different bridges in our world, but there comes one bridge, like this one, where all of us need to walk together as one. You know that in Brooklyn, when you're on the Bell Parkway, you see the entrance to the Verrazano Narrows Bridge. As you approach, you find faith chapels right there of all the different religious traditions. And the lesson is, you want to cross that bridge safely, you better learn how to cross together. The bridge between thought and accomplishment is called discipline. And what Mark has done, he has brought us together in one accord. Christian, Jews, Gentiles. In the spirit of empathy, compassion, inclusion, tolerance.
And whoever wins, we will remain unified. Right. Nothing is going to divide us. We have worked too hard That's right. for the whole city to know what the community and District 45 is, and no race is going to separate that. Yes? Yes! Peace and blessings. Thank you. It's the only thing that can make a difference. Um, it's exactly this kind of organization, this kind of leadership. Um, that's going to change the tide for the rest of the state. And, and you see you know, challenges like this across the state um, and coming together, showing how much we all rely upon each other and how many misunderstandings there are. It's really important. It's, it, it's really exciting to be here and that's why I brought my whole family. Well, it's Oh, it's wonderful. Look around you. There are all kinds of people from different cultural backgrounds and it's pretty wonderful. I think this is wonderful and what it stands for is diversity and that's what our city stands for and that's what our, uh, certainly Brooklyn stands for. We are an incredibly diverse county. It's always great to have different faith, different community, different people come together to share and this interfaith cedar today at the Bridge Multicultural Project. We I appreciate all the wonderful work that Mark Meyer Appel have been doing and bringing all of us here together. And as you know, we went to Israel last summer. It was an experience of a lifetime. And to see everyone here today is a testament that all of us are here to continue to support unity and justice for all. I'm really excited. I'm really happy. Uh, the bridge has become sort of like a family. When I walked in, there are people that you know we've been celebrating together. You know, the whole idea of the bridge, this multicultural and advocacy center, is to bring people from different walks of life, faiths, different parts of the world together to celebrate. So today we're here getting ready to celebrate Passover. And while Passover is for Jewish people, it's people from all over coming to celebrate it. It's bringing us unity. Um, this is what it's about. And this is how we get over hate, by showing love and being together. And it's a big family. So I'm excited to be here. Um, and I'm just very grateful to be part of this big collective. There's no way we're ever going to get over hate without bringing communities together. This is what we do here, um, and we're going to continue to spread the message that there's more that brings us together. There's more that binds us together than separates us, especially here in Brooklyn. Well, Mark knows he has to continue the struggle, right? He has to continue to say to folks, it's, we, it's not about being colorblind. We can acknowledge our differences. We can respect that we come from different places. We look different. We worship differently. It's not about we all have to, and that there can never be disagreements, but it's about making sure that we bring our differences together to strive for the things we all agree on. For me, as, you know, as a, a district attorney, it's about safety and justice. And for, and for Mark and for the people behind the work, it's about having a unified love community. I thought it was a wonderful event. Um, it was great to see different nationalities come together in unity and that's what Mark, the founder of the bridge, is preaching. And it's beautiful to see that when you stand here amongst all these different people, people just, um, it, it's a great feeling. People feel that, you know what, we can live together. We can work together and live as one without the hatred and without the um, racist remarks and and um, all the um, all the uh, should I say the um, all the trouble that we all go through. And my thing is, the goal of this place is being fulfilled by the work that Mark is doing. I mean, it's great working with Mark. I mean, his heart is in the right place, and his intention is to make sure that. He's done so many 
Christian Abbas, European Police Department Community Affairs, in recognition for your leadership in public service. in recognition of and great appreciation for your outstanding service. Our mission in the NYPD is to serve and protect everyone, regardless of where you are. Whether a tragedy happened in Pittsburgh or New Jerusalem, we have to protect everyone. We have to make sure that you go to synagogue freely, you go to the mosque freely. We just had last week the Passover at the Old Police Plaza. Next week we're going to have the Bureau of Ramadan. I'd like to mention that we do have a lot of programs that MPD offers, so please let your kids join the program, the Summer Youth Academy. We're starting from 10 to 16 years of age. You can join the program. Thank you for having us today. Well, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Mr. Mark Appel, founder of the Bridge Multicultural Project, I'm here to thank you. I'm here to thank everyone who came out tonight to attend the third annual Unity Seder celebration. It was well attended. We had about 325 people. It was quite an experience. It was great to see so many elected officials, so many people who came out, and we had a great time together. We want to thank um, New York's finest also for being here. They were honored by Mr. Appel, and we want to thank them for their dedication, for the work that they do, for putting their lives on the line every day to keep our communities safe. Once again, thank you for being here. We hope to see you next year for our fourth annual event. My name is Dr. Mona Lisa Ferrari. It was a pleasure being your host, your MC, and we'll see you next year. Thank you. We shall overcome.